I'm Ann Sheets. I'm with Illinois Single Payer Coalition. We're here at the Chicago Action for Worker Safety because we believe that every worker should be safe, every worker should have access to health care. Community Action for Worker Safety is developing community power, and we want that power to be part of the single payer movement. So my name is Susan Curley, Executive Director of Chicago Jobs with Justice. We are leaders on the CAUSE campaign, Community Action for Worker Safety. Our organizer, Jill Menrique, has been working in the 25th Ward, primarily Pilsen, for the last year. We firmly believe that people should be able to return home at the end of their day in the same good condition that they arrived in the morning. Access to health care and worker safety is so important. I feel so strongly about uh, single payer health care. I am a longtime member of Illinois Single Payer Coalition. Huge fan. Hello, my name is Nancy Gutierrez and I work for um, the Resurrection Project and today we're promoting the COVID-19 test. We do it every Wednesday and every Friday from 8.30 to 4.30 p.m. It's our organization, it's a community-based organization and we help people with affordable housing. Um, we also have resources like legal immigration advising, um, housing advising. Hi, I'm Kathleen O'Brien. I'm the housing organizer with Access Living and I'm here to tell um, everybody in this lovely community about the services and advocacy we do at Access Living. Um, and personally what I do is I, I work organize a group of people who either live in or need affordable accessible housing to fight for more affordable accessible housing on all levels of government. Yes. Hi, my name is Fidel Arroyo, and I am a core. I represent the U.S. Department of Labor Wage and Hour Division. Here in the Chicago District Office, we investigate federal minimum wage, overtime, record keeping, child labor. So employers right now are scrambling to find employees to fill the jobs. So what better than to hire young kids under the age of 18 to do some of these works uh, that we and the whole United States considers hazardous occupations. I think the problem is there are a lot of employers who think just by signing or getting an FI, uh, a sex ID number to open their business, that that's it. You're also agreeing to comply with all local, state, and federal labor laws and, and, and tax laws. My name is Ariana Salgado. I am currently the organizing director at Race Floor Alliance. We are a coalition of worker centers um, that uh, work in the city of Chicago and surrounding suburbs. I'm here because we're spreading the word about a legislation that uh, we're currently pushing. It's called the Secure Jobs Act. Um, it is a legislation that will, um, at its core, provide just cost protections to all workers in the state of Illinois, whether or not they're in, in the union. Um, this is something that our workers need. Um, it means it will mean that they can't get fired as easily as you know we can get fired as workers right now. Um, so it will offer a lot more uh, worker protection. Hi, my name is Maria Gavina Ariola. I uh, work for the National Labor Relations Board. Uh, we're here today to do some outreach event and um, letting the public know about the uh, rights they have as workers. You know, having the freedom to organize. Um, and yeah, we hope to uh, give out uh, plenty of information on that. Uh, my name is Jose Frausto. Uh, I'm the manager of leadership and advocacy program with Chicago Workers Collaborative. We help people to organize people, educate people about their uh, rights, workers' rights. We work with a lot of uh, temp workers. We, we have to deal with the temp agencies, and it's like a whole other story in labor, although they have the same rights of, as a regular worker, no matter if they're documented or undocumented. Every year it gets worse and worse. Like uh, temp agencies, they're looking for their well-being, how they can packet more money uh, from the workers. So my name is Karen. I am the restorative justice organizer. We're House Workers for Justice. We're a worker center based in Joliet, but we also do work in Chicago. And we provide a lot of legal resources for workers, so anything from wage theft to workers' compensation. We 
We also help with expungements, driver's license reinstatement, um, and we have a ton of resources for the community just overall. And in our communities, unfortunately, uh, brown and black communities, if we don't have those resources for help, then it's really hard for us to actually go to, to get medical attention because it's so expensive. So anybody needs any of those uh, types of assistance, we're happy to help. Our phone number is 815-408-1231. So my name is Janelle White and I am the director of the Temp Worker Union Alliance Project 2 Op. Um, so we work with worker centers in the Chicago land area advocating for temp worker rights. Um, we do referrals, we provide resources. Right now we're working um, with the Cook County Department of Public Health um, for COVID-19 mitigation. Temp Worker Union Alliance Project, we're small but mighty. Um, it's just trying to make a difference um, in uplifting temp workers. Um, hi, I'm Frances O'Renick. Um, and I'm the coalition director for the Vote Yes for Workers' Rights campaign. Um, the Vote Yes for Workers' Rights campaign is supporting the Workers' Rights Amendment, and it will be an amendment to the Illinois Constitution to ensure that all employees in the state of Illinois have the right to collectively bargain and organize, and it will make sure that no anti-worker politicians can take that right away. I was a full-time rideshare driver for about five years, um, and while I was doing this work, I noticed that the longer I worked, the less money I was making. And in 2018, Uber decided that they were going to change our pay. You know, as independent contractors, we aren't protected by things like OSHA or the NLRB. Really what we're trying to do is pass a rideshare living wage and safety ordinance that would protect workers working in the Chicago area. It would create a uh, worker safety committee. Um, it would uh, require that the app do more due diligence to protect us. Very importantly, um, give us a pay uh, a wage standard, which we currently don't have. We're making a big push this month and next month to get the co-sponsors and the votes that we need. Well, my name is uh, Jacqueline Allen. Um, the iron workers gave me a name, Jazz, and for 20 years it stuck. So my name is Jazz Allen. That's what they call me. Um, I'm a member of a 21 member of a Chicago Women in Trade. Also, I'm a 20 year local one iron worker. We offer women a, um, a chance at becoming a construction worker. We have two totally free. I want to reiterate on that. Free programs for women. We have a 12 week program with the Chicago Women in Trade, and we teach women how to pass the test and how to get their hands on on Saturdays and become a construction worker, iron worker, carpenter, laborer, whatever it is that they want to be. We help them get to that uh, to that point. Byron Sixto Lopez, uh, alderman of the 25th ward, and uh, Kim Pilsen. Uh, great to see a health fair. We have great information. I'm really glad to see not only. Of course, organizations supporting workers' rights, immigrant rights, healthcare rights, you know, but specifically very important to see uh, the Medicare for All and the single payer uh, program being promoted. Access to mental health, access to healthcare in general is critical. We've seen the effects of a pandemic in those most vulnerable communities, and it's great to see the different services that are trying to come together to address the need, but without single payer, without a Medicare for All program, we just simply don't have enough and the, the services are inadequate. We, we've got to get back to treating people like they have value and treating them like they're human and not just, you know, a, a cog in the wheel uh, for a company to, you know, maintain its bottom line. We, we've got to, like, stop prioritizing profits over people.